So hi everyone, I'm Jay, and today we are going to see two instruction for the microprocessor 8085 that is RIM and SIM. We know that for the microprocessor 8085 there are five interrupts. There is a trap, RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5, and INTR. We also know priority of this interrupt. Like trap is having the highest priority and INTR is having the lowest priority. Now from this five interrupts, some interrupts are maskable and some interrupts are non-maskable. And at a time, some interrupts are in process and some interrupts are pending. So to mask an unmask interrupt, we can do that using the instruction sim. And to read the status of the interrupt, whether which interrupt are pending and which interrupt are in process, we can do that using the instruction rim which is read interrupt mask. Let's see the first instruction that is read interrupt mask. So this is the format of the rim instruction. You can see that it is a 8 bit format and each bit represents something. Let's see the first bit which is D7. The meaning of the D7 bit is serial input data. The meaning of the D4, D5 and D6 bit is pending interrupt. So if any of these bits is 0, it means that particular interrupt is not pending. And if any of these bits is 1, it means that particular interrupt is pending. For example, the value of the D5 bit is 0, it means the RST 6.5 interrupt is not pending. Suppose the value of the D4 bit is 1, it means the RST 5.5 interrupt is pending. The next bit is D3. The meaning of the D3 bit is interrupt enable. So when the value of the interrupt enable bit is 1, it means the interrupt enable flip flop is set. If the value of interrupt enable bit is 0, it means the interrupt enable flip flop is reset. Then the D0, D1 and D2. The value in the D0, D1 and D2 bits represent whether the interrupt is masked or unmasked. So if for example the value of the D0 bit is 0 it means that interrupt is unmasked. If the value of the D2 bit is 1 it means that interrupt is masked. So using the RIM instruction we can know which interrupts are pending and which interrupts are not pending. We can also know which interrupt are masked or which interrupt are not masked. Now let's see how to use the RIM instruction. You can see that in the assembler we have written a very small program that is RIM and HALT. Now when we give RIM instruction to the microprocessor, in the accumulator we will get some data. And if we compare this data with the format of the RIM instruction, we can understand that which interrupt is masked, which interrupt are pending and what is the serial input data. Like you can see that in the SID we are getting 1. It means we are receiving 1 bit serially. So using the RIM instruction you can not only read the status of pending and the mask interrupt but you can also receive serial data. Now let's see the next instruction that is set interrupt mask. Using the set interrupt mask instruction we can mask and unmask interrupts. This is the format of the set interrupt mask. Let's see meaning of each and every bit. So the D7 bit is serial output data. So using this bit we can serially send data. In the RIM we just saw that the using the RIM instruction we can serially receive data and using the same instruction we can serially send data. Now the next bit is D6. It means serial data enable. So to serially send data this bit should be 1. So when STE is 1, in that case we can serially send data out. If the value of the SDE is 0, in that case we are not able to send serial output data. The next bit is D4, which is for reset RST 7.5. So when the value of D4 is 0, it means the RST 7.5 interrupt is not reset. And when the value of D4 is 1, it means the value of RST 7.5 interrupt is reset. 
the next bit is mask set enable so if you want to mask some interrupts the value of the mse should be 1 if the value of the mask set enable if the value of the mse is 0 in that case you are not enabled to mask any interrupt so it is a pre requirement to mask any interrupt and the next bits is d0 d1 and d2 and if any of this bit is set 0 in that case those interrupt are unmasked and any of these bits is 1 it means those interrupts are masked now let's see how to use sim instruction in order to mask some interrupts suppose in this example i want to mask the rst 7.5 interrupt and rst 5.5 interrupt so in order to mask rst 7.5 and rst 5.5 the first thing I have to do is to set mask set enable bit. So I will set the MSC bit 1 in order to mask this interrupt. Now I want to mask RST 7.5 and RST 5.5. So in that case, I will put 1 to D0 and D2. And remaining bits will be 0. Mm -hmm. Now to use the same instruction, first of all, I have to convert this pattern into hexadecimal. So if you convert this pattern into hexadecimal, you will get 0 dh. And I have to move the 0 dh data to the accumulator. So I will use the instruction MVI A0 dh. When we use the MVI A0 dh, the 0 dh will be transferred to the accumulator. After that, we will use the instruction sim. So when we use the instruction sim, the RST 7.5 and RST 5.5 interrupt will be masked and we will use the halt. So by using sim instruction, we can mask and unmask some interrupts. And I think this is it for this session. If you still have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.